Hi, I'm Greg. I'm a physio here at Kisana Physiotherapy Clinic. Um, I'm just going to run through an exercise I like to go, go through with people um, when it's time to move on from some of the more basic things like range of motion and, and single leg balance. Okay, so this exercise is called the clock. Um, reason being that uh, you imagine yourself standing in the middle of a clock, so it would be 12 o'clock, 1, 2, 3, and all the way around. The idea here is that we're looking at making it so that when you have to step in a certain direction, you've practiced it first. So this will come into play if someone bumps into you and you have to kind of step across the side. We want to make sure we're doing that in a safe way first. So this exercise will help with that. I'm just going to step to 1 o'clock and back at 2 o'clock. You'll notice the first few of them, I want to keep my foot facing forward. Um, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 Seven, and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky is these crossovers. So there's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eleven, and then twelve. Uh, and then of course I could do this one with my other leg, maybe going counterclockwise when it's the left. basic aspect of the clock exercise. It can be challenged by doing a variety of different things depending on what our goals are. For example, you can do the same thing but do it all with your eyes closed which will add a different element of you know, understanding where, the, where your foot is and, and trying to make sure your body reacts the right way. Um, another thing I like to throw into the mix occasionally is working on trying to get into a deeper movement with each one. So that would be one where I reach down and grab towards my ankle or my knee depending on how how my range of motion is at that point in time. The most challenging thing with this one is when your body is crossing over or when your leg is crossing over. So at home, as a safety mechanism, what you can do is if you have a wall beside the direction you're going to be crossing over, then if I was to go and I lose it, I can just hit the wall and rather than fall down. So that's one thing I would recommend that you do if you're trying this at home and no one else is around. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that exercise. Um, my name is Greg again. I'm here Tuesday and Thursday in the afternoon and Friday in the morning. Uh, come in if you need any help with anything with your legs or, or your lower back or anything.